This is going to be a tarot, an oracle card reading for Libra. So if you have Libra in a major chart placement, this could be for you, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. If you do not have Libra in a major chart placement, this could still be for you if it showed up on your homepage and or you felt drawn to the reading. This reading is meant to be timeless, so it shouldn't matter when I post the reading. What truly matters is when it showed up for you, when you felt drawn to it, when it showed up on your homepage, that's when you were meant to see it. This is a general collective reading. This is not a personal reading, so you do still need to use your intuition to know if it is for you or what parts are for you. So let's start off with this deck to find out generally what this reading is going to be about. I'm going to blow on the deck, give it a nap to get rid of any energy from past readings. And let's find out one more shuffle what this reading is going to be about, spirits. Start us off. Is this money? Is this love? Hurry, what's going on here? What does the person watching need to know? What would you kind of message would you like to give them today? Obviously, probably very important information since it is from your spirit guides. They think you need to hear it for your <clears throat> higher good, the highest good. Okay. Okay, so we've got a situation here where I feel like this nine of pentacles is you. Whether you're a man or a woman, um, you know, there's not supposed to really be any sex in tarot, but I do sometimes when I see like a female, I'll say maybe feminine energy. So maybe somebody in feminine energy, but it doesn't have to be. So whoever you are, I feel like you are either going through like a glow up or you will be if you haven't yet. This is you working on your pentacles here. This is the nine of pentacles becoming abundant with money on your own. And she's definitely, you know, independent on your own. She's definitely going through kind of a major glow up here, really working hard on herself looking beautiful, or if you're a man, handsome, working on your, your money, really becoming independent on your own. In walks the king of wands. Hello. I see you're looking good. So, hmm, I want to come approach you. So again, I don't know if this is a man or a woman. Could be masculine energy. The king of wands, oh, he's handsome. He's charismatic. He might, he might know it. He might be a little cocky. He's a leader. He's a boss. So he might be a little cocky. He might even be a bit of a player. Not necessarily, but very well could be. But he might be feel some fire for you, some passion for you. Look at all that fire in the background there. So he's seeing you go through a glow up and you know you're looking good and so he's coming in because he likes what he sees and I noticed how the card flew out of my hands and we got this eight of cups but I feel like you know he might be a bit of a player maybe he comes in and approaches you in a way that you don't like, or so this could be spirit saying you might walk away from this person to go work on yourself some more, to go maybe do some more shadow work here. Even though all these cups are standing here, you might walk away from this person or spirit could be saying that's what you should do when they come in. So my advice given these cards would be when this person approaches you, just watch their actions. Actions speak louder than words. I say that a lot because I'm trying to instill it into your brain. We have the moon here, a nice full moon. So I feel like maybe this person even reaches out to you on the next full moon. As I make this video, I do believe we have a full moon coming up, if I'm not mistaken. But 
Um, but usually the moon, if that doesn't happen, what it, what this card would mean is that there are things that need to be revealed. There are things you need to learn about this situation. Your path will be illuminated. Spirit will help you. So that's what we have so far from that deck. Let's do a different deck here. That's interesting. So because you are working on yourself, and maybe, maybe that Eight of Cups came first. Maybe that Eight of Cups is because you went to work on yourself. You went through a glow up and now this King of Wands is coming in. Let's try to get a little clarification on that. Because like I said, the Eight of Cups isn't necessarily the I'm sad so I'm walking away. It's just, it's the all these cups are filled but I'm still walking away to go work on myself. To go do shadow work. That's weird. I've never seen that Wheel of Fortune. We'll see if that comes out. What else do we need to know about this situation, spirits? What else? Okay. So whatever the case, we have, I don't know if this is you or them, but somebody feels burdened by this situation. Feels like they can't put those burdens down. But you can. All you got to do is drop them. I mean, he's already actually dropping a couple behind him there. All you got to do is drop them. You can even drop them and rest, you know, whatever you need to do. But you can drop these. This is 10. So that means that you come to the end of the cycle here. And you're going to be going into a new cycle. So I paused because I actually realized we have 8, 9, and 10. So I'm going to put them in that order. 8, 9, and 10. So that is spirit, I feel like, correcting me and saying it's maybe more of this. This order here where it was like, first, you walked away. I don't know if it was from this King of Wands and now he's coming back. You walked away to go work on yourself and here you are. That was eight. This is nine. Here you are. Working, you've worked on yourself, going through a glow up, abundant on your own, becoming a independent. So I feel like, I feel like I'm actually getting the feeling like first the King of Wands was over here and then you walked away. So both, both of what I said, and that's why I said it. First, you walked away from the King of Wands, worked on yourself, but now the King of Wands is going to be coming back in. I feel like it's both. So I feel like this is somebody from your past who you've changed and they're coming back in because they see that you've changed and you've worked on your, yourself, but they haven't worked on themselves yet because they're still a player. So we have eight, nine, 10. So you're progressing, you're moving on. We have the 10 of wands feeling burdened by this situation, but you can put it down. All you gotta do is just drop it and leave it in the past and go into this new cycle. So here this King of Wands is trying to come back in. They have not changed yet. They're still in their ego. They're still cocky. They have not changed yet. What else, spirits? What comes next? So thank you for that correction, spirits, for showing me the 8, 9, 10 progression. So first the King of Wands comes in, you leave him, you walk away to go work on yourself, you do that work, you blow up. So if that hasn't happened yet, it's what's to come. And when you're done with that, you're gonna be like, you know what, I'm just gonna drop the burdens of this person. Like they haven't, or I've worked on myself, they haven't worked on themselves, whatever, Psh, bye. So going into a new cycle. And in this new cycle, we have a King of Cups. Now, and Judgment coming out, okay. So let's figure out what order we're talking here. I feel like it's this. 
Okay, so we have the King of Wands. We're going to talk about the King of Wands because then we have the Knight of Swords. So here the King of Wands is wanting to rush in because he sees that you've gone through the glow up. He wants to rush in. He wants to overcome challenges. We have lots of big challenges in the background. They're still there because he hasn't healed himself. So this person, this Knight of Swords wants to rush in. The thing with the Knight of Swords is it can be very impulsive. They're not thinking things through. They're not healed yet. So here you are, the high priestess. You need to use your intuition to know what to do. You need to use your intuition to know, is this person healed? Should I accept them back? You will see, if you give them enough time, you will see they are still the king of wands. They are still a little bit of a player, or that might be what they appear to be. They're maybe still in their ego. So you need to use your intuition to know what to do. There's a book here. She's touching this book. She's getting this information from the divine. You might also want to meditate. It's kind of weird because I've never seen this high priestess have a baby before. There's a baby there. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. A little bit of a moon. So yeah, things needing to be revealed, your path being illuminated by spirit. So meditate, tap into your intuition to know, is it time? No, it's probably not gonna be, be time. But we do have the judgment card coming out. So I think somehow this person gets to the point where they, have a spiritual awakening, an aha moment. Maybe they judge themselves here. Yeah. It's the hand coming out of the cloud. So it's as a spirit waking them up, making them rise, rise into a different level of consciousness here. And what happens? When they do that, now it's their turn to walk away. I put it right under the Eight of Cups. It's their turn to walk away and go work on themselves. And what happens when they're done? They are now the King of Cups. They become stable. They become grounded, stable in their emotions. The relationship becomes stable. Let's use this deck now to get some more messages about what's coming up in the future for you and this person. We're not figuring out timing yet. That'll come up in the bonus extended reading. I like to delve into timing for that and look into what's gonna happen in the next six months to a year or sooner to find out you know, if this is, what's going to be happening soon? Because this could be a while. What else, spirits? What else do we need to know? Hmm. Yeah, with this situation, you know, you had planted some seeds long ago. And you're just waiting for that harvest. This card is letting you know that it is coming. It is coming. The seeds are just, the plant is just underneath the surface about ready to sprout. Of course, when it sprouts, it's not gonna be a full bush. It's gonna be a little plant. So it's gonna start off kind of little, but it is approaching the surface where you actually will be able to see it in the 3D. What you don't see is underneath the surface. It's the universe setting things up having you and this person go through certain experiences that will lead to this. What is this spirit? This is the hanged man, exactly. The hanged man is all about, it was energy that maybe was once stuck. But this guy is hanging upside down. He is chained up, so he might feel stuck, but that stuck energy is what's going to allow him to hang upside down and force him to see things with a new perspective. 
and I see lots of clouds behind them. So yeah, there were storms. There are there might be storms to come, but they're going to be behind this person soon. And this person, after going through the spiritual awakening, will have that aha moment and see things in a new perspective. Ten of Wands again. We have the Ten of Wands again. So this is confirmation. In the, in the other Ten of Wands, it looks like a man carrying this, the burdens. Now it looks like it's the woman trying to carry the burdens. So both parties can put those burdens down soon. So if you are in the feminine energy and the masculine energy, both of you guys can put those burdens down. You're both coming to a new cycle soon. You know that 10 of wands before with the masculine carrying the weight came right before that king of wands was about to come rushing in. So that king of wands wants to put that weight down, wants to come rushing in, but he's not ready until he comes in and has that spiritual awakening. This is to me, of course, sounding like a twin flame storyline, but we'll keep pulling to find out. Feels like that's all ever comes out anymore. Okay, so we have the tower. Yeah, so this tower moment happens. And I think that's probably before the spiritual awakening, though. I feel like you need to use your intuition. When they come rushing in, you need to use your intuition to know what to do. And I think probably what you're going to do is walk away, pull your energy back. It's surprising that that hasn't come out yet. And I think that creates a tower moment for them. I don't think this is a tower moment for you because there's a feminine here, feminine energy, and she's got a wand in her hand. And the look she has is like, yeah, I did that. I did that. I did that on purpose. She does not look sad about it. I did that on purpose. And so it makes this other person feel like everything's crumbling down, like they're losing everything. But it's so that the situation can be rebuilt even stronger. This is number 16, which breaks down to seven. Seven means good luck. So this is what propels you into a new lucky cycle. Let's get some love cards here. Okay, so what else happens in the next six months to a year or sooner with regard to this situation? Hmm. You get a couple more cards, and if nothing phenomenal comes out, I'm going to go ahead and move into the bonus extended reading, whether it comes out or not. But I want to give a couple more cards to give a chance to kind of let Spirit wrap this up for us and tell us what happens after this tower moment after the spiritual awakening after this aha moment what happens next tell me what happens spirits mm, look at that look at that we have i choose you so what happens after this tower moment. What happens after this masculine, most likely the masculine, goes through the spiritual awakening and becomes more stable and has this aha moment. It comes into this new cycle. You both come into this new cycle. They choose you. Awesome. Wow, okay, so that's cool. So now I'm gonna go into an extended reading, a bonus reading where we look at timing, like, is this gonna happen? Are they gonna choose you in the next six months to a year or sooner? We'll pull some charms, we'll get some advice cards and just get a lot more details from Spirit. So if you think this resonates with you, if you think this is for you and or if you just wanna watch the extended, go down below to my description box, click on the link that takes you over to my extended. Before you go, totally, subscribe if you have not subscribed and click the notification bell to be notified when I go live, when I put out a new video because you don't want to miss any good information that spirit is trying to get to you. 
whether you've already heard this information before, this could just be you needing that confirmation that you're still on the right path, you needed to hear it one more time, um, just that spirit trying to, to be your cheerleader and motivate you to do whatever it is you need to do to get there, because make no mistake, there's things you need to do. There's always something you need to do, otherwise you'd be there. But you are progressing, eight, nine, 10, you are progressing towards them choosing you. I mean, ultimately choosing you, becoming more mature, becoming more stable. Be sure to give this video a like and share the video if you can. That would be very helpful. I would appreciate it. If you want a personal reading, I can do that for you as well. You can get it on my website. My website address is www.bossasswitch1111.com. That's 41. You can find the link down below in the description box. If you want to watch the Patreon, like I said, the link is also down in the description box. You can click it and it'll take you over to my Patreon. You'll notice that it's only $5.55 to sign up for a month's worth of access, unless of course you sign up towards the end of the month, then it will renew on the first. You don't have to keep renewing it. You don't have to keep doing it monthly. Um, you can cancel at any time. However, I truly appreciate those of you who do sign up. Um, it is what's going to allow me to keep doing these reading and, and support this channel, but also, you know, allow you to keep getting that exclusive awesome information. That $5.55 is not just for this one reading. That is actually for exclusive access to all of the readings, all of the bonus extended readings that I've done up until this point and all of the bonus extended readings that I do going forward for whatever time period that you pay for. You will have exclusive access to all the readings. So, so much awesome divine wisdom available to you through these readings. So I definitely think it's worth it. I hope you love it and find it worth it too. Also, in the extendeds, I will have you know, Spirit likes to show off. Spirit likes to pull a lot of extra synchronicities out in these extendeds. You know, we pull a lot more cards, we have a lot more chance for these synchronicities to pop out. They like to show off, so it gets really fun. So I definitely think it's worth a watch. So if you wanna go watch it, Go down below, click the link, it takes you over to my Patreon. I will meet you over there now so we can find out more juicy tidbits, maybe get some, um, some figure out what they're thinking or feeling now or in the near future as well. All right, I'll see you there. Blessed be.